Yeah, right, guys, how are you all doing? MJT Reviews, bringing you the best in model kit reviews. I said I would come in for the last video because I bought two more uh, starter kits, so I hope you're getting ready for this one. So, as you can see, guys, I've got a whole wide range of um, starter kits here. Now, as you know, I did the Cutty Sark, I did the Firefly, and I did the Tiger one. So, those are in my last review. However, just put those over there a minute. <clears throat> So those are out of the way. Today we're going to base these videos on these two right here. So we've got two, so I'm going to do them back to back um, in two separate parts. So I'm just going to get everything out of the way right now and then uh, <laughs> show you these. I'll put this out of the way. Um, I don't need that. Right, so first of all, I'm going to start with the yellow jack. And I'm going to keep the zero till later. So, as you can see, this one is uh, the Fallen Nat uh, T1 Yellow Jacks. And this is the older variant of the Red Arrow. And I believe they use this one as a training uh, fighter jet. Um, there is some brief history about it. Um, it does have a length of 155 millimeters and the width is 102 millimeters and it's got 49 pieces so it's all right you get one flying hours which obviously will be cut out guys i'll tell you about the flying hours later on um it's a skill level one and yes it's got some information here about it um so it does say that it was in service with the raf as a jet trainer a tiny aircraft well, obviously, and uh, it was displayed in a number of aerobatic team aerobatic teams from the Yellow Jacks to the Red Arrows, serving until nineteen seventy nine. So there you go, um, and then obviously nine seventy nine, I believed. After that, then obviously the Hawk took over, um, but there you get the basic standard color of it which is the yellow jacks. You can also do this in the red arrows variant if you want to do it in the red arrows one. That's entirely up to you. Um, but I thought it was really good and I have bought this before but I wanted to buy another one because uh, sadly um, the other one broke. I don't know how it broke but it did. So um, I think it must have happened while I was moving house um, due to the fact that obviously I had a lot of trouble with that as you know. Um, obviously with the landlord and everything else that was going on during the time. I'm thankful that I've got my flat now, getting everything sorted, getting the wheels in motion now, and everything's going good for me. So, to be honest with you, I'm not really bothered about anything like that. I'm just looking forward to the new year, guys. 2023, staying positive. Hopefully things turn out good. And uh, I'm still going to continue doing my modelling. So, But anyway, cracking on. Um, basic standard. You get the poly cement, which is just your basic standard tube, and you get the normal acrylic paints that um, they give you. But that's a bonus, actually, guys, because they are giving you the paints and the glue and the actual paintbrush, which is the Humbrol Airfix number two. That's the paintbrush, and then you get the kit, and you get the um, you get the kit and. The instructions so let's start with the instruction manual basic standard instruction uh, instruction manual basic standard and then you get everything there telling you everything about it saying its maximum speed was 695 miles per hour wow that's pretty quick for a little small nimble plane uh, the wingspan was 6.73 meters um, well, 6.73m and the length is 8.74m so yeah it does give you the variations of what the plane was so, and every, these are the decals so let me just hold the decals up to you nice and glossy they're not bad actually I do like them um, only going on a small plane so they're not going to be massive other guys so <laughs> Um, but they're still good. So all in all, yeah, in basic standard guys, you've got your seat to put in, uh, all your cockpit interior, um, your dowsy switches, everything like that. Um, then you've got the yeah, 
think they're Cowan engine, engine Cowans, uh, air intakes. Um, so you're not that there. Um, and then you've got these. So you can either have it, guys. You can have it flying. You can have it um, with the wheels down. So you've got two choices there. So that's what the question mark there is for. So let me just show you. Question mark there, guys. So you can have it either just flying and you can put it on a stand, I believe. And you can have the wheels down. I don't like to put the wheels down and put a weight in. That's what I like to do. Just sets it off a little bit more. So, um, well, I think it does anyway. And then, obviously, you've got the cockpit to put in and you've got the uh, fuselage to stick together. These are where it's going on about the stands, guys. So there you go. You get the option to put it on a stand if you want. That's if you can get those. If you've got an airfix, sorry, if you've got an airfix stand, you can put it on. So it's giving you the option for that. So that's pretty cool. And I've got to say, it's actually very detailed. I do like it. Um, I do like this one a lot. Uh, obviously, you've got the two little men to put in, uh, but I don't really bother with that. So I'll just leave them out. Um, and that's it basically. So basic standard, you've got. Just have a little look. I can go over the numbers. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty-seven stages for a little small kit. And that's actually really, really good, guys. So, um, if you're into your models, um, and you're looking to get these. Pop yourself, pop yourself down to either Aldi or the. I got these from Aldi. Aldi have got them in store right now. Well, where I live, they have. And I seen them the other day, and I thought, you know what? I'm definitely going to stock up on these because they really are fun to do, guys. And if you're bored over Christmas time, you've got nothing to do. You can pick these kits up, and you can build them with your uncles. You can build them with your granddad. You can just sit there watching the film. It's it's, it's brilliant, guys. It's absolutely brilliant, and you know, you can achieve something amazing. Like I've been doing models for, it's coming up to my 20, 20 21 years coming up soon. I've been doing this for now. Uh, I will be doing a video of that once I get everything sorted out and I get all my models um, in my flat because yes guys, I've got a lot of models uh, to actually fix because due to the move, unfortunately, um, some of them were damaged. Um, I don't know what the score is on that. I don't know how damaged they're going to be, but uh, I'm glad that I stocked up on poly cement and obviously hopefully I can repair them and uh, restore them back to how, how they were before and then I can put them up on the ceiling. Some of the big ones got damaged as well, but they're not too damaged, but yeah, I lost some of the propellers and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm going to have to, yeah, it's, it's not good, guys. It's not good. If you're going to move, guys, Give you a bit of advice don't build your model until you know for a fact that you're staying in that house for quite a few years because if you build that model and you find out in the next year that you're going to move out you're in trouble and uh it's not good guys i mean i did put them in the boxes but they're still broke so maybe it was my fault i forgot to wear bubble wrap <laughs> but i had so many you just can't put all the planes in just one box you know what i mean it I just didn't have enough space to put them on, so it doesn't matter. I'll see what I can do, see if I can still repair them. So it's not all doom and gloom, really. Um, but anyway, let's have a little look at the plane. I'm rambling on too much. <laughs> right. So this is the actual plane itself. So obviously, cockpit glass, as you can see in there. I'll see if I can... I don't know why Airfix do that, but there you go, there you go. Cockpit glass there, pretty standard, straightforward, yep. And this is the actual model itself, and it is very, very nice. I've got to say, the detail on this one is really, really nice. Um, as you can see, no raised panel lines whatsoever, which is a bonus. So this is definitely a new tool, and I'm happy about that. Um, so you get everything on there. The kit's very nice and clean and crisp, as you can see. Comes in two sprues, so here's the bottom half where uh, the wings are and everything. 
Let's just show you the wings. Very, very nice. Excellent detail on them. I'm so looking forward to building this, but uh, we'll soon see what happens over Christmas time. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I am spending it with my family, so hopefully yeah, we all get together and it's going to be a good one this year. Um, because I've got my grandma coming down, my granddad coming, I've got my Uncle Alan coming, um, Taylor's World, <laughs> and I've got my sister, her boyfriend, and me, my mum. So hopefully it's going to be a good one and I, I can't wait. So, you know, I've been looking forward to it. Every Christmas time I always look forward to it. Um, but some, the only thing I don't look forward to is the um, the money part of it because uh, I, I, I presume every person um, worries about that as the money situation over Christmas. It's always the same, isn't it? It's always cost you more money and you end up spending more and just what everybody wants and you end up skinned. And obviously you look forward to payday and then, oh yeah, it's coming up to payday. <laughs> and then you realise, oh God, it's gone again. <laughs> Life, isn't it? <laughs> right, so anyway, that was the uh, fallen nat. Um, yep, that was the fallen nat, guys. Excellent model plane. If you want to get it, go out, buy it. It's a, it's, a, it's a brilliant aircraft, guys. It really, really is brilliant. Um, definitely go out and buy it. It's from Lidl. I believe it's around about £7, uh, £6.99. Definitely get them, guys, because they make an excellent Christmas stocking filler. And uh, they really, really are good. And they're fun to build, guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, tell me in the comments below. I'll get back to you and we can talk about it see what i did wrong hopefully i didn't do anything wrong <laughs> but uh, anyway guys but i want to thank you so much for supporting me like you have over the years and watching these videos and i'm trying my best to give you the best um i noticed in the last video that i got more views in these starter kits and i want to thank you for that guys because these starter kits are absolutely amazing and they're well worth the money and that's why i went out and i bought some more <laughs> But uh, yeah, um, from my family to your family, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and you take care of each other and you have a wonderful, happy new year for 2023. All the best from me, MJT Reviews, and I will see you in the next video, guys, which will be the next one. And that is coming up. That will be a zero. So I'll see you in the next one, guys.